Hi, my name is Fabiana and I write patterns for swimwear. They are all on my website creativeswimwear.com. You can find all my patterns there. And as well now I'm starting this channel and I'm going to make tutorials uh, teaching you how to make all my crochet bikini designs. All these designs I made in the past for my brand, Devotion Swimwear. I sell my I sell my bikinis there as well. And I have around 35 years of experience in making crochet. I learned when I was a kid. And I always liked making bikinis because they are small and you can be really creative and they are fast to make. Most of my bikinis you should take around two hours maximum to make each piece and they are very different in between them. I like being cre creative in uh, small crochet pieces. And so today this I'm teaching you this top. That's the name of this top uh, Wonder. Wonder top you can search on my website if you want to have the written and the charts for it and so I'll be teaching you how to make this bikini today the material you need is cotton 100% cotton yarn it's for ply it's not very thick I don't like using very thick materials for crochet bikinis because they take too long to dry so to make swimwear your stitches need to be really close together so I normally use maximum number zero hook which is 2.1 millimeters that's when I use the fixation yarn for this um, project today we're gonna use 1.6 millimeters hook to start this top we will make um, 18 chains. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen chains. And then we're gonna make. Um, double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook so double crochet across these chains all the way to the top so this double crochet here one double crochet each chain Made my all, all my uh, on the book crochet in each chain, and then here on this last chain, I'm going to make one already made, two double crochets, and then two chains, and then two more double crochets here. So I'm going to have two double crochets, two chains, and two more double crochets. And then my next double crochet, I'm gonna uh, skip these two double crochets and make one double crochet here. And then I'm gonna make one double crochet in between each double crochet, right in between it, all the way to the end. Make sure you have the same number of double crochets in each side when you finish it. So you should have 17 on each side.
and the last one here in between your chains and your first double crochet there and then what I'm gonna do for the second row I'm going to make two, two chains and then I'm going to turn to the other side and make one double crochet each double crochet all the way to the top here I made my last double crochet in the last double crochet from before and now here where I had the two chains I'm going to make one two double crochets one chain and two more double crochets and then double crochets across in each double crochet okay so you just double crochet all the way here including here where you have the two chains you're gonna make one double crochet on top of it made my last double crochet here and then I'm going to make two chains turn again and make one double crochet each double crochet all the way to the top and here where I have my chain I'm gonna make two double crochets one chain and two double crochets again and go across all the way to the bottom here so I'm going to repeat that until I count two four five rows so five rows of this counting from the middle okay two four five so <clears throat> I made I made my four five rows here of double crochet the way you count it is you always count here in the middle one two three four five so that's how you know you have five and from now on I'm gonna make my two chains to start and I'm going to make one double crochet here and one chain and then I'm going to skip one double crochet and make two double crochets again and one chain skip one two double crochets do this all the way to the top here here on the top I'm gonna do keep doing the same thing I skip one double crochet and I make one double crochet here on this last double crochet and here I'm gonna make one double crochet one chain and another double crochet in chain and then one double crochet in this first double crochet and then one chain I skip one here and I make two double crochets one chain two double crochets all the way to the end here so from your last row we are going to make two chains and turn the work and here I'm going to skip one stitch and on top of my chain here I'm gonna make a single crochet and then from this single crochet six chains and then another single crochet on the same place from before and then from here two more chains and one single crochet two more chains skip two stitches you're always gonna work here where you have the chains and then from here one two three four five six chains another single crochet one two chains skip this two on the next chain you make single crochet one two chains skip two single crochet and repeat that all the way to the other side where you're gonna finish with 
to one chain and one single so crochet. So I made my last six chains with the single crochet in the same chain there. And then I'm going to make one chain and one single crochet in this last chain. And I'm going to turn my work. So from here I'm going to be wor I'm going to be working double crochets in this arches here. So it's going to be one, two, three double crochets, and one chain, and three other double crochets. One, two, three. After that, you single crochet in that same single crochet from the row before, and then repeat again. So, three double crochets, one chain, and three double crochets on the other side. So, one chain. Three more double crochets. And one single crochet here in the middle. And then start, repeat the same on this next one. And repeat the same thing on this row all the way to the other side. So I made my last Three, three double crochets with a single crochet finishing here at the end of this row. That's how it looks like now. And from here, my next row is gonna be six chains. Turn the work and one single crochet here in the chain from before. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and one single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, and another single crochet. Two, three, four, five, six, another double, another single crochet here. One, two, three, four, five, six, another single crochet. So repeat that all the way to here, to this last one. So after this last one of single crochet here, I'm going to make two chains and a triple crochet, which is two loops around the hook and then pull through, and then you're gonna make one, two, three, pull three times. So you have the same height here. If I made a, only a double crochet, it would be too short. So I needed a triple crochet there. And so from here, we're gonna start working the bottom part here and connecting both. So. Yeah, if this is your first side, I already made my second side, which is here, okay? If this is your first side, all you do here is you, you, you finish your work and cut the yarn. But because I already made the other one, I'm going to make F. So after your second one, all you do is two chains and you're gonna work another double crochet here so and one chain and then skip like the space of a chain I normally do that so I know where I where I should put the the hook for the next stitch so you know it's the uh, the size of the chain and so I'm gonna make two double crochets, one here and one here, 
and one chain and another two double crochets so I normally make um, two stitches for every row I have from before so one two double crochets and one chain and then I skip this and I go to the middle here so made my two double crochets and one chain all on the whole bottom here and now to finish I'm going to make one double crochet in the second chain and one double crochet here on this third chain and then from here I'm going to make eight chains with, so this part's gonna be in the middle of my top and I'm going to connect see here I'm on the wrong side so I'm gonna connect with the wrong side of the other side as well so you have both right sides of your crochet facing the same way so from here from these eight chains that are made in the middle I'm going to make another double crochet there to connect it so one two double crochets and one chain leave a little bit of space there two more double crochets one chain and skip one here one double crochet two double crochets one chain skip this one here and repeat this all the way to the other end so I made my last double crochet here on the third chain from before and then I'm going to make two chains and turn to start the next row three chains sorry because I have to skip this one stitch so three chains and two double crochets in the chain from on the chain from before so two double crochets on the next chain, one chain, skip these two, two double crochets in chain, skip. So you're gonna repeat this same row all the way to the end again. So finished my second row here on the bottom of this top with uh, one chain and a double crochet in this last stitch here and now I'm gonna repeat one more time this same row so two chains and then I'm going to have always the two double crochets on top of my chain so one double crochet and one chain and now two double crochets here one chain skip these two make your two double crochets in the, on the next chain and repeat that all the way to the end again so finish this row here and now we're gonna change we're gonna start make making the lace edging of this top so it's gonna be one two three four chains I'm gonna turn the work and make one single crochet here on on this next chain again one two three four and another single crochet here 
and then one, two, three, four, five, six. And then when I make this six, I'm going to jump five stitches and make a um, single crochet in this chain in this chain here. So skip five and make one, two, three, four again. Single crochet in next chain, one, two, three, four. Single crochet in next chain, one, two, three, four. So it's gonna be three in between and then the six chains skipping five stitches. So another single crochet here. And then my six chains. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then I skip five stitches and make a single crochet on this next chain, and then repeat again one, two, three, four, single crochet next the chain, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then six now. Two, three, four, five, six. Single crochet, skip five, single crochet. And repeat this all the way to the other, to the other end. So for this last stitch, I just made my six and I'm gonna have only one here. So I'm making two chains and one double crochet which is gonna bring me to the top here so I can start straight away the next uh, the next row. So what I do here, I know I have three arches in between each of these big arches. So I want this one to be right in the middle. So I I start counting from here because I started here, right? So I have my six chains here. So I count one, two, three, and then two. One, two, three, and then the two. And that's why I knew I only needed two on the beginning here. So this uh, would be in the middle. I like this to be in the middle, if you don't mind. <coughs> You just start with three here and see where you end. But I prefer to have these six stitches in the middle because it makes it look better at the end. So from here I'm gonna turn my turn my work again to make the next row. And the next on the next row I'm gonna make one, two chains to start and then two double crochets. In this first arch, three chains and two other double crochets all in this same arch here. And then two more chains. Single crochet in this first arch, first arch here, one of the small ones. And then one, two, three, four, repeat two arches. Single crochet in the next one, one, two, three, four. Single crochet in the next arch, and then repeat again one, two chains, two double crochets, two double crochets. Three chains, two more double crochets, and one, two chains, fin making a single crochet here in this next arch. So one, two, three, four, in between them here, single crochet in the next arch, one, two, three, four single crochet in the next arch and then two here and repeat the same thing from before all the way 
to the end of this row. At the end of the row I'm gonna repeat what I did on the row before. I'm going to make two chains and a double crochet here in the second chain. And then I'm going to the second row, which is going to be one, two, three chains and two double crochets, three chains again, two double crochets. three chains again and one single crochet in the next arch one two three four chains in the middle in between them and one single crochet in the next arch and then make the second one here which is gonna be three chains again two double crochets One, two, three chains, two other double crochets, all in these three chains from before your two double crochets and three chains. They're all gonna be in this arch here from before. And then one single crochet in the next arch, one, two, three, four chains, another single crochet in the other arch, one, two, three chains, and then two double crochets in this next arch, one, two, and then three chains. Two more double crochets in this arch and then three chains with a single crochet here. So repeat that all the way to the end again. So finish it with a single crochet here in this last chain and then we are gonna start to work to the side because here we are on the right side I need this last row here to be on the right side as well so we're gonna finish this off all the way and finish this last row here that I, that I have here um, after making the last row around it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make one chain here and then a single crochet here another single crochet one single crochet each stitch and then here in this two Starting from here, on this second row here, I'm going to make um, a hole for the straps because I'm going to pass my straps through here. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six chains and then a single crochet on the beginning of this row here, a single crochet here and then turn it because I want to make it extra strong so I'm going to make an extra two rows of single crochet on top of this arch so it is extra strong and it won't break with the, with the strap rubbing here so and here one single crochet each single crochet from before and 
and then make an extra one here so that's how it look like it is extra strong you won't break with the rubbing of the straps when you when you wear the bikini so from here one single crochet and on top of this single crochet I'm going to make a little one two chains a little lacing finish here two chains and then so the two chains and then one single crochet that I'm gonna place here right in the beginning of the first chain and then one two three four chain four single crochets on top of these chains here a single crochet in my single crochet from before two chains and then another one of that stitches that's gonna make this lacing finish here and this edging I mean it's just a simple edging to give it a nice finish so in between that you make four single crochets three four another single crochet in that single crochet one two chains and then another single crochet on the base of this two chains and four single crochets repeat that all the way to the middle here so I made my last single crochet here on this last stitch from the side from this side and now I'm gonna sort of skip this little bit here and make another single crochet in between both of my double crochets and another single crochet and two chains single crochet through there one two single crochets and another one of that two chains one single crochet and one single crochet in between the next two double crochets and then I start working on the side again the second side one single crochet here two two single crochets all the way to this next single crochet where I make two chains and a single crochet here on, in the first chain there and then one two three four single crochets one more here two chains another single crochet right here and repeat that all the way to here to the beginning of this first row on the bottom here and here you make the six chains the six chains to for the other um, holes a hole for the strap so I'm gonna make this all the way here and then I made my last <coughs> single crochet here and then from here to here I'm gonna have that next hole for the strap with my six chains so six chains and one single crochet here on the bottom of um, at the end of the second row turn it and make as many single crochets as you need to get to the other side that's this is just a reinforcement for your for this hole because the strap will be rubbing here so I'm gonna make it extra strong 
So one single crochet, one here, single crochet here, one more at the end, and then single crochets all the way until you reach this part here. And then we're gonna start our last our last row. So yeah, I had I made enough here, I think. And so from here, we're gonna make one, two, three, four uh, chains, and one single crochet here. And then from here, one, two, three single crochets. And then after these three single crochets, you're gonna work here in this arch. So you're gonna make two double crochets together. Two double crochets together two chains and that's the same from before that you made here this little stitch here so two chains and then put your hook through this hole here and make another single crochet and then one two chains two double crochets together, just repeat the same thing, two chains, single crochet here, two more chains, and another one repeating the same thing, so two double crochets together, two chains, and then one single crochet here and three chains to finish this first part single crochet in that next arch and then three chains and we start working the double crochets together in this next arch so two double crochets together two chains and one single crochet here, two more chains and repeat that again all over this uh, bottom part of your top here, gonna make one more so two double crochets together and two chains, a single crochet here on top of your double crochets and two chains and one more of these two double crochets together two chains a single crochet on the in between a single crochet here and repeat that all the way to the end here, so you're gonna finish here making just on this, this second chain here, just make a single crochet here and then you can finish your work but before you cut this, before you cut the yarn I'll be, I'll be stitching cowrie shells here in the second row here, I'm gonna be, sti be stitching curry shells and I stitch these curry shells with this same the same cotton yarn so you can't really see um, the cotton yarn the color difference or you know if you're using a thread or something so I use the same cotton yarn so just leave like Around the meter of yarn should be enough. Let me see. Yeah, just cut around meter. Pull it through here. Okay, 
and then I'm going to I'm gonna to I'm going to seal my cowry shells here in this second row with a needle. So I finished that last row here and I left around a meter of, uh, of, of yarn and then I'm going I put it through a needle it's a needle with, with a big hole it's a bigger needle and I'm going to just pull it through up and down here all the way to that second to that second row where I wanna where I wanna um, seal my curry shells just go here just anywhere really it doesn't matter just so it doesn't show the reason I do that is because I don't really like making a lot of knots on my pieces so this piece has one two, three, four knots with this one. Some people stop and restart again everywhere. I mean, I, I just go around and do it this way. So I have the um, very little knots because I don't like having a, little, a lot of knots on uh, crochet bikinis because um, People use on the beach and everywhere, and you wash a lot of times, you don't want the knots coming undone. And that's the reason why. So, pull it through all the way from, from there to here. Okay, now I'm going to pull the needle through this cowrie shell. My cowrie shells, they have, they're like uh, two centimeters each in length, length so yeah that's the size you need you can use a bit smaller if you want around 1.8 centimeters and not all of them are the same size anyway you know they they have a variation in a few centimeters in size so yeah uh, pull it through again on that second hole, I was just talking and I forgot. So, okay, pull it through again and then here underneath, it doesn't matter if it's in the same hole, pull through in between these two double crochets and to the next two double crochets where you're gonna put your next shell. So, and on your next shell, pull through again, okay, all the way, then go through the same hole here, and in between the next two double crochets there, pull through, and then pass, it, pass the needle through the shell again and here in between these two stitches and in between the next two ones that's the way you stitch I'm gonna go ahead and, and stitch it all the way make sure you're always on the same row okay I'm gonna stitch uh, shells all the way to the end here I'm going to use around 20 shells here they are, it's around 20, they're very white and nice these ones and uh, so I'm going to stitch it and then finish with the top straps so I ended up using uh, 12 shells so probably for a medium and a large you need around 18 or something, a little bit more because this is going to be longer here and um, for the straps I'm going to use double, double yarn 
I'm going to make this from here. So put your hook through this chain here and um, bring the yarn this way and then I'm going to make a chain with all these four uh, yarn like so that way I don't have to finish this thing I can only I only need to cut it after so after this just use double okay and then make a hundred chains and when you finish these hundred chains you're gonna cut around around 50 centimeters of um, of yarn at the end, just cut it, cut it long, because then we're gonna make this little, this little tassel at the end. Okay, so you need like yeah, 50, 60 centimeters at the end after you finish your um, your hundred um, chains. So I made my hundred chains here. So I made my 100 chains here and now I'm going to cut this yarn here polyfrum and then here on pull, pull, uh, put your hook through the last chain and then bring this in the yarn in like that and make four loops using the same last chain so one two and the same distance here with your finger three and that's three one more Four. Okay, so finish here, and I normally cut. I cut this here and just cut the same size of the rest of them, and then with this longer one. So you cut one, and the other one that's left, you're gonna wrap around like this as many times as you can do it with the length of yarn you have okay so and after that you put the hook through a few of them doesn't need to be many and then pull that last yarn through and then you have a tassel That's it. That's how it looks like. So this is how our top looks like at the end. Ah, I also made because you need a strap for the back as well. And so I made this one with 180 um, chains so you're gonna put it from here and pull it from here so. yeah that's how this design is so for bigger sizes, the only thing that I make different is that for a medium, instead of making five here, I make six, six rows of this one, and then two rows of this, okay, two rows of two double crochets in one chain, and all the rest, this is the same, just 
you're just gonna have more of this because you're gonna have more stitches here so for a medium two one more here one more here and for a large two more here and two more here and yeah that's the only difference of course everything's gonna have more stitches because at the end you have more rows here so you're gonna have more but um, yeah the main things is still the same you're just gonna repeat this same rows here and um, they will be the same same rows same stitches so this is the top ready oh, I forgot a little little wind here cut this off Then this is our top, ready, with the shells, looks really nice. All the stitches are really close together, so we don't really need the lining for this one. And this pattern is called Wonder, and it's available on my website. You can download there if you, you know, if you want the charts or if you want the written pattern to to have a look and, and see the differences in between the sizes or changes it has it has all written in there and sub subscribe to my channel give me a like if you enjoyed this tutorial and um, I see you on the next one